EA Sports WRC just announced the new patch notes for the version 1.9 and it brings a lot to the table. Or does it? So let's take a look. We have added EA Anti-Cheat on PC. Whatever. Okay. Perform additional preparation work on eSports WRC. Address several minor bugs and issues with VR beta. Some minor bugs. Okay, what about the major bugs? We don't know. Fixed an issue with quick play multiplayer in which the game would crash while navigating through screens as others are joining the lobby. Okay, fixed an issue in which the co-driver calls could be mistakenly heard during transition screens following a stage finish. Don't know, never encountered. Some career fixes with clubs, fixed some issues, graphics and performance, adjusted appearance of raindrops on windshields when driving in interior views. Okay. Added an indicator on the UI to show when a device binding has been edited by the player. Okay. Oh, locations. So we have Central Europe fixed an issue in which some spectators were floating above the ground. Okay, some graphical bugs. So we have Mediterranean fixed an issue in which the car could pass through some specific rocks without collision. Again, the same. So we have four Mediterranean. Okay. Uh, three Mexico resolved the corner cutting exploit in Mexico. Three corner cutting exploits in Mexico. So nothing about this corner cut in Portugal. Or this corner cut in Estonia. Uh, what else? We have Sardinia. Fixed an issue in which colliding with an invisible object would cause terminal damage. Okay, again, again. Um, what about this collision in Sardinia? Ah, never mind. Moving on to moments, I'm not a fan of moments. If somebody's a fan of moments, this is what they did in this update. Options and settings. Fixed an issue in which the German language description within advanced graphics was applied incorrectly. Okay. Removed the LSS upscaler sharpness option as sharpness is identical regardless of the setting. I'm sorry. I mean, they removed the setting completely instead of fixing it. Anyway, uh, moving on uh, to quick play. Again, some issues with the invites. Rally passes. Fixed an issue with certain scenes in fronted menus were incorrectly rendered. VR controllers. Spectators. Fixed an issue in which the virtual monitor would not reset its view position after using the reset and option extra settings in safe management. I have encountered this problem when using a VR. And some miscellaneous. Let's see. Fixed an issue in which a card that received a puncture during shakedown would start further shakedowns and the events with that puncture. Ah, okay. That's, uh, that's good. That's a good fix. Um, but, I mean, that's it. I mean, what else in almost three months? The last update was 29th of April. Now we're in 17th of July. Or there may be more to it, but nobody's telling us. I don't know what to say. I mean, there are so many other bugs, so many other problems with this game. Even regarding the photo mode. I don't know how is it called, uh, JPEG damage or whatever, when the motion blur is being processed. Or what about the overexposure in Mexico? Oh, and look at these water splashes. The other particles are very nice, like the dirt and snow and flying grass or whatever, but the water splashes are just terrible. And cars passing through water will make for a very nice snapshot. But unfortunately, these particles look totally weird. Or how about this bug? Fix the collisions with the roadside objects. I mean, in this game there are two types of collisions. Collision with a bush. Let's say it, it's okay. And with everything else that feels like a brick wall. Everything other than some bushes when hit feel like a brick wall. I mean, look at this little, small, miniature tree. Or maybe, let's say, some roadsides. 
Yes, there are some big road signs that have a big slab at the bottom to keep them as fixed as possible. But some smaller ones, like this one for example on Croatia, which I hit countless of times, this should just fly off, maybe cause some damage to the radiator or not even that, just to the front bumper. And that's it, like the small trees on Chile. Hitting a, let's say, fence, metal fences, wood fences or whatever, feels like a brick wall. But this is not acceptable, I mean, when I see a little thing on the road and I'm just, oh, okay, I'm gonna get through it and I hit it, it stops the car completely and it gives me total damage. Yeah, I don't know, the, the, this, out of all the other bugs and other fixes that this game needs, for me personally, this is the most annoying one, the collisions. So please, this is one of the most important things for me and I'm sure for many other people too. So yeah. That's the big update we've been waiting for 3 months. I mean look at the reactions on the Discord server. I was not expecting livery sharing or tuning settings sharing. I was expecting something that would make the game work correctly, that more issues would have been solved regarding cutting, I don't know, more graphical and performance. I am happy about the anti-cheats, so people using mods or cheats to go faster or not sustain damage or whatever cheats there are out there. I don't know what to say, I'm, I, I'm really disappointed. I can say that I hate the fact that I love the game. It's very nice, it's very competitive, it has a ton of potential, the force feedback is incredible, even with a Logitech G29. There are a lot of things lacking that will make this game feel a lot more alive. For example, sometimes the pace notes feel like a robot is talking to me. On many aspects, Dirt Rally 2.0 was really above this game. I don't know what you did with that game, but please do it with this one as well. And do it even better. Because like I said, I really love it. I love making videos about it, teaching people what I know about rallying and about sim racing. On the long run, I really want to see a lot more changing in this game and I really want to see it working as it should. If you agree with me, leave a like, subscribe to my channel, leave your thoughts in the comments, what do you think about the version 1.9, come for a chat on the Discord server, and as always, see you on the track. Bye bye!